can Jerry Jones actually make this decision in a vacuum? Realistically, that's the big part of this because the fan base is up in arms. And I understand that when you start listening to the fans, eventually you, you find things going awry. I understand that. I understand that owners don't always listen to the fans in these situations. But, man, the, the blowback. If they come out today and say Jason Garrett is going to remain as the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, the revolt from the fan base. I mean, can Jerry Jones not acknowledge but that? I think if you pair that with Jason Witten, a guy that is universally beloved by the Cowboys fans, like like you said, disperse some of the blame. Like you you put Jason Garrett up there and everybody gets might be a little upset about that. But immediately after you slide like Jason Witten right to the podium beside him, like this is a guy that we as soon as assuming Jason doesn't want to play anymore. We slide him right beside him. Like you have a hard time like hating this guy. Just like they loved it when Jason Garrett was hired because of all the history he had as a backup quarterback and the things he did for the Cowboys, you ultimately push a Hall of Fame player beside him, the guy that has almost every receiving record for your franchise and the history of it, a very storied franchise, I might add, like a first ballot yellow jacket or gold jacket guy. Like that, It's unbelievable that you could put those together and people would be upset about the Jason Witten hiring. And so maybe they'll, that would disperse a little bit of the anger, I guess. I, I mean, and, but then the other side of it is how much more can you cut Jason Garrett off of the knees and still have him be like, Hey man, we're, you can keep your job. You just can't do anything. Don't like you can show up in the facility and have a big office, but we, we're going to need you to just like, just, just stay away. Do less, from, like do, even less Do do, do less. All right. You can keep your job as the head coach of the Cowboys. I'm going to need you to do a little less, though. I mean, that's – at what point are you just – are you out if you're him too? Because let's not pretend that Jason well, Garrett won't have options. And that's the thing. Like, But I think his number one option is to be the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Like Todd Archer, you know, works works here at ESPN, has covered the team for years, you know, multiple capacities. When he – you know, asked him in 2011 as the interim coach, like, what do you want to be? I want to be the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Asked him at the press conference, I believe yesterday, about it. Like, what do you want? What do you want to do in 2020? I want to be the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Like, that's what he wants. I think this was his dream job. So when you get your dream job, is there ever a scenario that you would openly walk away from it? If that's still a possibility, no matter what else is there and what else they're asking you to do, if this is your dream job and your dream opportunity, is there any scenario that you would ever walk away from it? And I don't think that there is. That's probably a fair point. I mean, I, I, I'll be realistic. That that's probably a fair point. If it's everything that you want and it's like, man, if this is what it takes to stay here, I care about staying here so much. But uh, it, it's go look at Wingo. ESPN Radio, ESPN2, Jason Fitz, Bobby Carpenter. I, I, that, is a, that is a fair point. Jason Garrett would have options, though. I mean, do you agree with that? If he, if he's I think like part a, of it is, like, if the Giants are in that selection set, and that is, he also, remember, he coached, he coached on the Giants staff. Like, he was, he was there. And so, like, if they bring him in and you would have to see him twice, like, the fear of him having success in New York, and if you're Jerry Jones, because that means the problem then must be you. Like can that that I don't think that that's something that he would be ready to admit. Now that is a so it's like hey let let's meet again tomorrow. Uh, it, it's it's enchilada day at the calf. We should really have another meeting. Let's talk. Like he's going to string these meetings out until the Giants make a hire, just so Jason Garrett isn't said higher. I mean that that does make sense. As much as Cowboys fans right now are rolling their eyes and they're like, fun, you can take him. Uh, I, I understand that wants to be your logic. But if you are truly invested in him as a person, as you you smartly pointed out Jerry Jones is, and you love what he does so much, and that actually that actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, his his contract expires January 14th, so the Giants only got to wait a couple of weeks. They could find some uh, little ways to talk. They, they could talk to his people, and all of a sudden – Ooh, Jason Garrett taking on the Cowboys twice a year, and that's I and I, I misspoke. I said he coached. He played for the Giants. He didn't coach there, but there is there is that relationship, and so I you have to think, you know, John Mara. I mean, I, I think that he respects Jerry Jones, but I do think that it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Like we pluck this guy away, and then we start to have some success with him. Like, and he has to see him twice. Like, I mean, that that's like your best friend getting together with your ex, someone that you're going to have to see socially now, and, oh, we're doing a lot better. We're in a much better situation. Like, it hurts you. It feels better for them. Like, there's there's a lot of, lot of moving pieces and a lot of moving parts. I do think that Jerry, though, with this, 
I don't think he's trying to be punitive to Jason Garrett and trying to say, like, I'm just going to hold on to you until someone else, so no one else can hire you. There won't be any other options. I think, he is a, I think he does really respect him and like him. Like, the longer he stays, though, man, like, it's just like the, the breakup, if it should have happened, you feel like it should have happened right away. Hi everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.